look at this and I realize that this is so un-American it should not be able to voice who you want to vote for and then have someone put a rock through your window. It's just not, this is not the United States that I know of. Uh, early this morning, uh, looks like a couple of folks came by, threw a few bricks through the windows. Uh, we had one staff member inside, uh, down in the basement, he came running up, uh, but by the, by the time he got here, they were, they were gone. Um, nothing too serious, I think. Minnesotans shouldn't be too concerned about it. Uh, we're really going to just get back to work. We got uh, some canvassing happening this afternoon, and we're just focused on what Minnesotans want us to be talking about, which is the fact that 50 more Minnesotans lost their jobs last week because a plant in Winona closed its doors and moved operations to Mexico. Uh, they're worried about the fact that our unemployment rate is at a level we haven't seen in about 20 years, and they should really be thinking about, you know, who's the person that's going to turn this economy around, who's the person that will uh, focus on the middle class again, and that's going to be a President Barack Obama and a Vice President Joe Biden. Security certainly is always an issue. Um, we want to make sure that our staff and our volunteers are safe, um, but the fact of the matter is vandalism like this happens from time to time. Uh, Republicans, Democrats see this type of stuff, and with this type of vandalism, we don't worry too much about it. Um, we just clean up the mess and get back to work. I feel bad. What it does do is make sure it emphatically makes me vote for Obama. <laughs>